Hi children, welcome back to our channel Anvane Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, Intermediate Physics pass away and Intermediate low 60 by 60 raval and Prati student kachitanga kunni questions raval suntundi. The most important questions are there. What name are you Gunshot questions and dam. At one day, gunshot questions ni hero ninchi exam sa yan thawar continuous ka approach chest to nevon ranu. Kachitanga mana channel ni follow one day. So at one day, gunshot questions low. The first most important question law of conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy. So, this law of conservation of energy question is statement one mark. That is combination of problems. Two marks. Derivation part is one mark. So, I will clear explanation. So, physics is the biggest score. I will pass the biggest score. I will follow the biggest score. I will subscribe to the channel. I will like this. Okay, na? so this is the first most important question. Already, most important questions are in the playlist. Intermediate first year, most important questions physics. And a playlist name is the download videos. Choose one. Okay, now, if you let's check the topic, law of conservation of energy. What is the law of conservation of energy? Energy neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can change from one form to the another form and total mechanical energy remains constant this is called law of conservation of energy on board statement it is there just look at once energy neither be created nor be destroyed but can be changes from one form to another the total mechanical energy of the system remains constant so emandanadu energy neither be created nor be destroyed. Energy we create, we destroy, we destroy, we But it can be changes from one form to another. Because energy is one form to another form. So, if you don't have to do this, the total mechanical energy of the system remains constant. But total energy is constant. This is the statement of law of conservation of energy. Energy neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be changes from one form to another. The total mechanical energy of the system remains constant. So here, this is a statement. E statement ki one exam lo oka one mark kundi. Scheme of relation lo e statement ki oka mark is tadu. So din manam verify chali in case of freely falling body. Dhani vellle mundu oka saare kado word chinchone. Total mechanical energy. So here total energy, total mechanical energy is nothing but sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. So simply we are reading total energy is nothing but combination of or sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy. So this is the expression for total energy sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy is called total energy kinetic energy ni potential energy ni add chesthe vachade total energy so ikkada ee statement prakaram em rastam ante the total mechanical energy of the remains uh, total mechanical energy of the system remains constant annadu dani simple ga oka statement la chupistam ante delta of k plus u delta of k plus u is equals to 0 Delta and D change in the end of K plus U. So there is no change in the total energy under now. K plus U and the total energy gather. So the nail are simpler as now. Delta E is equal to zero. Law of conservation of energy is simple as in challenge. Delta E is equal to zero under now. Delta E and D change in energy. Change in energy is zero. And then there is no change in energy. And then Total energy remains constant. This is the symbol of the law of conservation of energy statement. Okay, na? so now we law of conservation of energy. Ni verify so now we have to prove the law of conservation of energy in case of a freely falling body. 
పైనుంచి ఒక ఆబ్జెక్ట్ కింద పడుతున్నప్పుడు మనం లా ఆఫ్ కన్వెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీని ప్రూవ్ చేయాలి దట్ ఈస్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ హియర్ ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఫ్రీలీ ఫాలోయింగ్ బాడీ వెన్ ఏ బాడీ ఈస్ ఫాలోయింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ సడన్ హైట్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో ఎక్స్టర్నల్ ఫోర్స్ యాక్టింగ్ ఆన్ ద బాడీ ఎక్సెప్ట్ గ్రావిటేషనల్ ఫోర్స్ క్లియర్ దెన్ దట్ బాడీ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ ఫ్రీలీ ఫాలోయింగ్ బాడీ ఏదైనా ఒక ఆబ్జెక్ట్ పైనుంచి కింద పడుతున్నప్పుడు దాని మీద కేవలం గ్రావిటేషనల్ ఫోర్స్ మాత్రమే పనిచేస్తూ ఉంటే అటువంటి ఆబ్జెక్ట్ని ఫ్రీలీ ఫాలోయింగ్ బాడీ అంటాం సో టు ప్రూవ్ ది లా ఆఫ్ కన్వెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ వీఆర్ కన్సిడర్డ్ ఏ బాల్ ఆర్ బాడీ హ్యావింగ్ సమ్ మాస్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫాలోయింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద హైట్ హెచ్ క్లియర్ హియర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద హైట్ ఫస్ట్ డయాగ్రామ్ జాగ్రత్త అబ్జర్వ్ చేసుకోండి డయాగ్రామ్ అర్థమైతే డెరివేషన్ చాలా సింపుల్ ఇక్కడ మనము we are taken one body we are taken one body having some mass m so this is the body having some mass m that is at the height of h how much i did is there h clear from that height it is freely dropped we are simply leaving the body now it is a freely falling body so it is comes in this direction it is moving towards ground because of gravitational force when the body is falling downwards and it is moving towards downwards it is moving in particular path in that path we are selected three points a b c let a b c are the points in the path of the freely falling body body pai nunchi kindiki vastunnappudu aa body move avutunna kramamlo అది వెళుతున్నటువంటి పాత్ మార్గంలో మనం త్రీ పాయింట్స్ తీసుకున్నాం వాటిని ఏ బి సి అంటున్నాం క్లియర్ లెట్ ఏ బి సి ఆర్ ద త్రీ పాయింట్స్ ఇన్ ద పాత్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రీ ఫాలోయింగ్ బాడీ అండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు అబ్జర్వ్ ఇన్ ద డయాగ్రామ్ ఏ పాయింట్ ఈస్ ఎట్ ద హైట్ ఆఫ్ హెచ్ అండ్ బి పాయింట్ ఈస్ ఎట్ ద హైట్ ఆఫ్ హెచ్ మైనస్ ఎక్స్ క్లియర్ ఏ ఈస్ ఎట్ ద హైట్ ఆఫ్ హెచ్ అండ్ బి ఈస్ ఎట్ ద హైట్ ఆఫ్ హెచ్ మైనస్ ఎక్స్ and c is at the height of 0 clear because the point c is on the ground so manam height ni measure cheyalante ground nunchi measure chestam kabatti c ane point ground me undi kabatti at this point c height is 0 and b ane height lo undi h minus x height lo undi and a ane point in the height lo undo chudandi capital h anatundi s point there undi so already meeku nenu cheppanu what is total energy total energy is what sum of kinetic energy and potential energy so ipudu manamu ee law of conservation of energy ni verify cheyalante to verify the law of conservation of energy we have to prove that the energy at a must be equals to the energy at a b and energy at a b must be equals to the energy at a c so when the body is freely falling we have to prove that the energy at a b c are same so pai nunchi object kindiki vachinappudu manaki energy anedi a ane point degara b ane point degara c ane point degara same ani manam prove cheyagalite appudu law of conservation of energy ni manam prove chesinatle so dani kosam em chestam ante now we want to find out the energy at a point a total energy so total energy at the point a a ane point degara enta total energy undo manam find out cheyali dani manam e a antunnam e a antunnanu so ikkada a ane point degara manaki enta energy undo find out cheyali dani kosam at the point a the total energy is we are going to take that is what e a and that is equals to kinetic energy plus potential energy ikkada at the point a at the point a initial velocity of the body is zero initial velocity of the body is zero why it is zero eppudaithe manam when the object is coming from the height h it is treated as a freely falling body for any freely falling body initial velocity is zero edaina freely falling body teeskunte dani yokka initial velocity zero untundi kabatti manam em rasthunnam ante ikkada u is equals to zero clear at a point a initial velocity of the body is zero 
u is equals to 0 induku initial initial velocity oka freely falling body iskunnappudu daniki initial velocity is 0 avutundi it is the condition you have to remember okay so kabatti ippudu nenu kinetic energy mana formula endi we know that kinetic energy is what of m u square u square then ke is equals to what we are writing u is 0 then what is of into m into 0 square so kabatti Kinetic energy of m into 0 means what? 0. At a point A, at a point A, kinetic energy is 0. Clear? So then what about the potential energy? So what we write? General potential energy we write to potential energy is equals to, we will write height, height into nothing but here, what we write? Weight. Height into weight we can write. So here P dot E is equals to weight means what? Mg. In the go already we are considered the body of mass what is M and weight is G. We acceleration to the is what? G. Then what right weight means? Mg. Mg into potential energy man generally agurthi la agurthi bethu kondi potential energy na name raasthana nante height into weight and raasthana nu. Vekada weight and endi with what amount of force any object is attacked by the earth that should be called its weight oka body ni enta force tho aithe earth attack chestundo adi dani oka weight avutundi so kabatti aa weight into height and rasthunnanu a ane point enta height lo undi h height lo undi kabatti aa body yokka weight emo mg and dani yokka weight emo h then potential energy is equals to what right mg h so Kinetic energy is 0 and potential energy is mgh. So, at the point A, kinetic energy is minimum. Kinetic energy is minimum and potential energy is maximum. So, after that, you have to find out the total energy. So, total energy, what do you say? Ea is equal to k dot e. Kinetic energy is what? 0. Plus, potential energy is what? mgh. So, E A is equal to M G H. This is a kinetic energy plus potential energy. So, this is the total energy at a point A. Now, we have to take this is the equation number 1. E A is equal to M G H. Next, we can go, we have to find out the energy at a point B. Okay, now children. Now we have to find out the energy at the point B. So, we have to find out point energy at the point B. So, we have to find out the energy at the point So, we have to find out the energy at the point B. So, we have to same as usual, same procedure. And the total energy. So, now it is the heading, it is what? At the point B. At the point B. Clear. Total energy. Total energy is the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy and now you can total energy in my e b to the business e b to the business total energy is equal to kinetic energy and plus potential energy so in the moon it's a panel b and a point in the height loan the h minus x height loan the h minus x height loan the cover t you could have potential energy and name rest in a simple guy potential energy is equal to what you have to write weight into height weight into height so, kabati, potential energy is equal to check me the moon a pen weight and d m g and the height on the h minus x. So, kabati, yes, we are writing like this. You would multiply chain potential energy is equal to mg into capital H m g h minus mg into x minus mg x. So, this is a s potential energy. So now we have to find out the velocity kinetic energy at the point B. Kinetic energy at the point B. So when the body is coming from A to B, when the body is coming from A to B, at the point A, initial velocity is zero. Initial velocity is zero. While it reaches the point B, we have to say that that is having some velocity V B. Clear. A ninchi B was na padu A the gara manaki initial velocity zero outwardly because it is a freely falling body. When it reaches the point B, we have to say that the velocity of the body is V B. 
now then what you have to write kinetic energy and labor as term half into mass into square of velocity so what is v square b so kinetic energy is equals to half m v square b so this is the equation number what are maybe i am saying now it is some equation number one k is equals to half m v square b v square b so now we want to find out the velocity v square b in find out chali we want to find out the velocity at the point b so then because when you stand there let we have equation is there v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s v square minus u square equals to 2 a s so a ninchi b question up to what you have to say initial velocity is zero and s what is s distance travel distance travel so let us see the diagram what is the distance travelled by the body from a to b a ninchi b question up to and the distance travel is in the x distance chone a dagger start a b dagger go chindi and the distance travel out in the x property so i am going to write simply s is equals to x s is equals to x and uh, what you have to say a is equals to g a is equals to g why it is g the body is coming in the direction of gravitational force eppudithe object in the gravitational force direction lo ostundo then we can take a is equals to plus g so ipudu ee values anni kuda u ante 0 s ante x a ante g so at the same time v ne manam velocity at the point b kabatti v is equals to vb ee values ni ikkada substitute cheyandi appudu manaki aa equation ni substitute chesthe em ostundo chudam v square minus u square is equals to 2 as kada v ante em anukunnam vb anukunnam u value em avuthund anukunnam zero avuthund anukunnam enduku zero it is freely falling body kabatti and a ante em anukunnam plus g anukunnam and s ante endama x distance travel clear so appude em avuthundi v square b is equals to zero is means what zero 2 into g into x so maniki v square b value ochindi v square b value ochindi so ochina appudu manaki e v square b value ni e equation la substitute cheyali appudu k e is equals to what you get half into m into v square b enta 2g x 2g x so 2 2 cancel then what you get k e is equals to m g x k is equals to m g x adave chille so ikkada manaki already potential energy ki equation rasamu ipude emo kinetic energy ki rasamu ee rendu ni substitute chesthe em avuthundi manaki total energy vastundi kabatti e b is equals to total energy at a point b is equals to kinetic energy plus potential energy then e b is equals to kinetic energy ento chindamma m g x plus potential energy ento manam m g h minus m g x this one so idi plus m g x idi minus m g x rendu cancel avutayi appudu e b is equals to m g h so already in the mundu ee dagara kuda emaindi same ochindi eb is equals to mgh and e also mgh so kabatti a ane point dagara manaku enta energy undi mgh undi b ane point dagara kuda vachindi mgh vachindi so next manam c ane point dagara kuda manam mgh ani prove cheyagalite law of conservation of energy prove ayinatle aithe ikkada meer oka vishayanni gamaninchali a ane dagara emaindi కరెంట్ ఎనర్జీ జీరో అయింది పొటెన్షియల్ ఎనర్జీ మాక్సిమం అయింది కానీ బిఎన్ఏ పాయింట్ దగ్గరకు వచ్చిన తర్వాత మనం పొటెన్షియల్ ఎనర్జీకి ఈక్వేషన్ రాసాం కరెంట్ ఎనర్జీ ఈక్వేషన్ రాసాం అంటే బిఎన్ఏ పాయింట్ దగ్గర ద బాడీ కెన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ వస్తే బోత్ కరెంట్ ఎనర్జీ అండ్ పొటెన్షియల్ ఎనర్జీ అదే మీద చిల్డ్రన్ సో ఇప్పుడు మనం సిఎన్ఏ పాయింట్ దగ్గర టోటల్ ఎనర్జీ అంతా ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేద్దాం నౌ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ది ఎనర్జీ అట్ ద పాయింట్ సి ఏఎన్ఏ పాయింట్ దగ్గర టోటల్ ఎనర్జీ ఎంజి వచ్చింది బిఎన్ఏ పాయింట్ దగ్గర ఎంజి వచ్చింది వచ్చింది సిఎన్ఏ పాయింట్ దగ్గర ఎంజి హెచ్ అని మనం ప్రూవ్ చేయగలిగితే లా ఆఫ్ కన్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీని వెరిఫై అయినట్లే సో కాబట్టి ఇక్కడ ఫస్ట్ మనము అగైన్ వాట్ వీ నో వాట్ వీ నోనా 
energy at the point C we have to find out so energy at the point C the name of nan and E C and nan what is E C so already what we proved E A is equal to M G H we proved and E B also M G H okay now now we want to find out the E C value and to rawali A E C value would same M G H law was the money key principle and they obey not to okay now so carbon again same thing what do we know total energy total energy is what nothing but sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy clear then is simply manam k plus u and the pistol so this is what it is e c and num okay uh, tell me now already told you what is where is the c point c point is on the ground here point c point c is on the ground so height is what you have to say height is zero mana enduku a height laina ground nunchi pai kelthe iskuna height kalustam kada already ground me undante adi reference point kabatti that is zero so kabatti indu mundu cheppanu potential energy is equals to what right weight into height weight into height so already cheppanu potential energy is equals to weight and em annanu mg annam height and em antunnam zero antunnam kabatti potential energy is zero potential energy is zero at a point c potential energy is zero so next what you have to find out we want to find out the kinetic energy kinetic energy when the body is falling from certain height while it is touches the ground that should be having some velocity Pining chicken the button up when the body is freely falling certain height while it touches the ground that should be rebounds why because it is having some velocity okay chetu minchi kubar wadang kinda badi nana kondi kinda badi nana kundha pike lex sundi leda ok ball nik pine inch kinda jara vidi cham kinda li bounce out to me in the cool when it is touches the ground that should be having velocity so ground me the point there height zero in the gani velocity zero kadu you have to remember in the kind of chalaman the pillar can visit out or i can visit out do when the point we are taking that should be on the ground height is zero but the body is coming from certain height velocity is not zero while it touches the ground manaki ground touched velocity zero kaadu guttu pettukondi so kabatti while the body can reaches the point c there the velocity i am going to take that is vc then what you write kinetic energy half into mass into square of velocity square of velocity what it is V C square. Therefore, kinetic energy is equal to half m V C square. So again, we want to find what the V C value. We have to find what the V C value. For that, again, we can go for. We know that what is V square minus U square is equal to two A S. So body according to this only A inch C cos only A inch C cos only. Ah, but a its initial velocity is zero and final velocity is vc kada for freely falling body it is u l is zero that's why here what you have to take u is zero and v is equals to vc and now and now here what you have to take a is equals to g a is equals to g because the body is coming in the direction of gravitational force and at the same time how much distance travel it is ए नीचे सी रावान एंत डिस्टेंस ट्रावल रेसम डिस्टेंस ट्रावल वाट डिस्टेंस बिटवी ए टू सी दट नथिंग बट हईट हेच सो काबी एक्सक्व हेच अब वालू सब्स्यूटी वी स्क्वे मैनस् जीरो स्क्वे ईक्वल टू टू जी इंटू हेच ए अंटे जी एस अंटे हेच दाने रास्त मन वी स्क्वे ईक्वल टू टू जी हेच वी स्क्वे ईक्वल टू 2g h so e value ni manam e equation lo substitute cheyali apude em avutundi s k e is equals to half into m into vc square vini emanna manam vc anukunnam kada vc square is equals to 2g h 
divided by 2g capital H. So again, to do cancel, what do you get? Kinetic energy is equal to mg capital H. Mg H. So here, kinetic energy is the capital mg into capital H. So already potential value zero only. Potential value zero only. Kinetic energy is mg H only. So kabati total energy is what? What do you know? Kinetic energy plus potential energy. Because so, substitute this na kinetic energy value into chindi mg H chindi. Potential energy value into chindi zero only. So kabati what do you know? EC is equal to mg H plus zero. Then what do you write? EC is equal to mgh so a and a point are mgh b and a point are mgh now it is also mgh so therefore what you have to write we can write ea is equal to eb is equal to ec so a mainly energy remains constant energy remains constant so, ante A and A point are energy undi, B and A point are energy undi, C and A point are energy undi, but it is same. So, it is just observed. In this case, energy, man, I mean, law of conservation of energy, man, I mean, energy neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can change from one form to another form. It is just A form ni chhe form ke energy marin do. A and A point are kind of energy zero undi. C and A point are energy maximum na thunam. And a C and a, a and a point degra can be zero in the potential energy maximum in the and a a and a point degra manaki a energy in the potential energy in the C and a point degra in the kinetic energy in the so and a energy in the potential energy in the kinetic energy ki mari po in the but at the point B that is having both kinetic energy and potential energy so this is about the verification of Free uh, law of conservation of energy in case of freely falling body. How E is equal to E B is equal to E C that is equal to M G H. Okay now, when the law of conservation of energy is applicable or valid, a put law of conservation of energy and the punches sundi. But for example, surely, uh, when the ball is coming coming down from the certain height, it is passing through the air. Passing through the air. That means when the ball is moving down, there is some frictional force acting on the ball due to the air. Clear? Manamu, the ball is it is traveling through the air. When it is traveling through the air, there is some air resistance on the ball, it is there. Clear? Then we can observe the thing is we have to assume that there is no work done by the internal force. So, there are two conditions. Law of conservation of energy is valid under the following conditions. The first thing is the work done by the internal force is conservative. The work done by the internal force is conservative. the frictional we are neglecting the work due to the frictional force. Why? Because it is treated as a conservative force. Treated as a conservative force. What is conservative force? The amount of work done, the amount of work done around a closed path, around a, around a closed path is equals to zero. The amount of work done around the closed path is zero. That is what we call conservative force. So, we have already four mass question. The conservative force, non-conservative force, any. The under clear explanation. Is just then. Show. I will show you that. The work done by the internal force is conservative. Even the frictional force, any any force, so many. Half force is meaning that conservative force. How to do? So, then all the meaning that work is zero. Next, second condition. There is no work done by the external force. So, actually, there is no external force acting on the body. Anna. Already starting definition. Like this. What is mean by freely falling body? There is no external force acting on the body except gravitational force. Anna. Gravitational force, the power, it won't be force and external force and act. Kakuda do. Apudu matrame, e law of conservation of energy and valid out only. Clear children. So, kabati, maneki, asal external force and external work. So, kabati, 
ఇంటర్నల్ ఫోర్స్ వల్ల జరిగే వర్క్ కన్జర్వేటివ్ కావాలి దెర్ ఈస్ నో ఎక్స్టర్నల్ వర్క్ డన్ బై ది ఎక్స్టర్నల్ ఫోర్స్ ఈ రెండు కండిషన్స్ మాత్రమైనప్పుడే మనకి లా ఆఫ్ కన్జర్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ అనేది అప్లికేబుల్ లేదా వ్యాలిడ్ అవుతుంది సో ఇది కూడా మనము రాయాల్సి ఉంటుంది ఎగ్జామ్లో సో మీకు ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఎగ్జామ్లో తెలంగాణ కానీ ఆంధ్ర కానీ లాంగ్ లాంగ్ ఆన్సర్ ఎయిట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇచ్చి ఎయిట్ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇచ్చినప్పుడు దాంట్లో స్కీమ్ ఆఫ్ వ్యాల్యుయేషన్ ఇలా ఉంటుంది మనం పేపర్లో ఆన్సర్ రాసేటప్పుడు స్కీమ్ ఆఫ్ వ్యాల్యుయేషన్ ఖచ్చితంగా ఫాలో అవ్వాలి మీకు డెఫినేషన్ ఏవైతే స్టేట్మెంట్ ఉంటుందో ఆ స్టేట్మెంట్కి వన్ మార్క్ ఉంటుంది నెక్స్ట్ డయాగ్రామ్ ఫిగర్ అంటాం కానీ ఫిగర్కి వన్ మార్క్ ఉంటుంది క్లియర్ సో స్కీమ్ ఆఫ్ వ్యాల్యుయేషన్లో దీనికి సంబంధించి డెఫినేషన్ వన్ మార్క్ ఉంటుంది డయాగ్రామ్కి వన్ మార్క్ ఉంటుంది అండ్ మనం ఎనర్జీ అట్ ఏ ఎనర్జీ అట్ బి ఎనర్జీ అట్ సి వీటి కలిపి ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ ఉంటుంది అంటే మనం ప్రూవ్ చేసాం కదా ఎనర్జీ అట్ ఏ ఎనర్జీ అట్ బి అనే దానికి ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ ఉంటుంది రెండు మార్క్స్ అయినాయిగా సిక్స్ మార్క్స్ అయినాయి దీనికి కాంబినేషన్ టూ మార్క్స్గా ప్రాబ్లం ఉంటుంది ఏవైతే మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఉన్నాయో అవి నెక్స్ట్ వీడియోస్లో అప్లోడ్ చేస్తాను ఖచ్చితంగా చూడండి ఓకేనా చిల్డ్రన్ ఈ కాన్సెప్ట్ మీకు అర్థమైతే లైక్ చేయండి షేర్ చేయండి కామెంట్ చేయండి ఎవరైతే ఇంటర్ ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ ఇంటర్ చదువుతున్నారో వాళ్ళకి ఫిజిక్స్ అవసరం అనిపిస్తే నా కాన్సెప్ట్ మీకు బాగా నచ్చితే వాళ్ళకు కూడా మన ఛానల్ని సజెస్ట్ చేయండి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోమని చెప్పండి ఓకేనా థ్యాంక్